Abraham found himself on God's good side, not because of something he did. He found himself in right standing with God because he simply believed. Remember um, that righteousness is also more than just the absence of evil and guilt. It's, it's actually positive good, meaning that God does not only declare us innocent, but not guilty, but righteous. And Abraham got that from faith. And then the apostle Paul builds the bridge from Abraham to us. He's saying, hey, Abraham needed to believe that God could do something crazy through him. And that got him good credit with God. And we should glean from that. But then the apostle Paul goes, yeah, now it's your turn. And the thing you need to believe in is Jesus. Believe in the God who was raised from the dead for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. There was a work that was needed for my weaknesses, my shortcomings, my sins, and yours too. And guess what? Jesus did the heavy lifting. Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice for you and for me. So if we could sit in the church in Rome and ask the Apostle Paul, what is it that we need to do? Hey, 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 the Apostle Paul, what is it that we need to do to be on God's good side? How does your God work? And what work must we do to be close with him? He'd say, uh, faith. 